Hey, hey, thank you again for joining us. We are back with another amazing interview. Now, if you have not set your clock, set your watches, hit the notification bell, please do so because these interviews will keep coming same day, same time. Today, we have the wonderful Miss Nikki with us. Nikki, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Awesome. Thank you Good. so much. Thank you for joining us. It is great to be able to talk to you and introduce you to our tribe. So mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. Now, where are you located? I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, awesome. So mm -hmm. I love Jacksonville and me being a Florida boy. So that's okay. amazing. Yeah. And I'm from Polk County, which is maybe three hours from Jacksonville. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know if you've ever been to, like, Lakeland or Winter Haven. Not yet. I'm new to Florida. Okay. Just moved okay. here a couple years ago from Maryland. So, I'm still finding my, my way around. But Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, you must be a little south from here because we're exactly. way up north. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, that makes sense. So, now, were you raised in Maryland? Yes, I was. I was okay. raised in Maryland. Pretty much lived there all my life. And came out here a couple years ago just because my business was was doing quite well. And so I was able to actually relocate, something I always wanted to do. And That's Florida amazing. just seemed like a perfect place. The weather is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Because I, now, no offense to Jacksonville, but I, yeah. you said Jacksonville, I was shocked. I'm like, you don't look like a Jacksonville person because, you know, sometimes they'd be a little rough around. A the little area. rough. <laughs> Well, you know, you definitely look a little more polished, you more polished <laughs> than what I'm used to seeing in, in the area. We, right. We say Duval. You hear people say Duval. They Duval. talk about Duval County. It, it, uh -huh. it, you know, it's certain parts of, you know, Jack. Yeah, you got to be careful. You ain't yeah. lying. Yeah, yeah, but I wanted to be closer to, um, I have family, I have my dad that's in um, Atlanta, living with my older sister, shout out, at Lisa. And so so I wanted to be close enough to drive up there, which is just five hours away, so. Okay, yes. yeah. So you you close to Atlanta, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then a flight is even faster, like what, 45 oh, yeah. minutes or something? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. So now how did you bump into me online? Yeah, I mean, Tony Gaskins, you are like the goat of this area of space. So I've been following you for several years. Thank you. <laughs> You're actually one of the main drivers to make me feel confident enough to even get into this space. Um, so yeah, I've been, I think it's probably first introduced 2014, 2015, around that area of time. And so in that you know, you've definitely been in my peripheral over the years. You've helped helped me out of some tough spots watching your content, for sure. And so um, how we reached this point was just, I've been fortunate enough to continue to get into your emails and, and you know, um, someone from your staff reached out and invited me for this opportunity. And I was just elated. I was very honored that I was uh, chosen to be considered for something like this. So I'm excited to be here. That's amazing. That's and I love to hear 2014, 2015, because to me, that's like a lifer. You know, that's somebody who has been yes. from for me the, the beginning. That's really when it I started earlier, but it really started to, you know, grow around yeah. that. Time. So that that's amazing. Now yeah. tell us about, you know, yourself and, and what uh -huh. it is that you do. So um, I'm Nikki Nardo. I'm a dating preparation coach. My company name is Prepare to Be Pursued. So essentially, I support women on their journey to be pursued, pampered, and prioritized by quality men without living in fear of her past. All right. So that's the key. I found myself over time. God really brought me towards exactly how he wanted me to serve um, the women that find me. And it's the fear part of everything. So anything related to putting yourself out there, meeting new people in general, meeting men in specific, <laughs> any part of that journey that might be fearful um, for a woman, I'm the one that she needs to be connected to. Mm, 
And you know what? I actually can feel that on you. You know, I can feel that that confidence and, you know, that that leader in you, that consoling friend that will encourage you, but also hold you accountable. And so, you know, I could feel that on you. And wow. Just in how Very you discerning. Yourself, yeah, <laughs> how you put yourself together. So that that's amazing. So now, when did you start this venture? Like, when did you start it in your spirit and in your mind? Mm -hmm. And then when did it actually get birthed? Oh, God, this journey has been absolutely amazing and breathtaking for me so far. So it, it originated around the time that I said that I started plugging into your content. And it was literally just a personal interest of mine to talk about relationships, to have these type of conversations. And I found myself, you know, um, just wanting to do more of that in my personal time. And so I started hosting events. I started creating a group and we would travel sometimes and just talk about relationships. Just, it was just fun. Um, it started off in my house, in my little apartment, and we'll be in there till five o'clock in the morning. People didn't want to leave. <laughs> and then I, then I slowly but surely started getting invited to host other people's events and, and uh, moderate other people's like panels and stuff like that. And in that, I it was just something fun to do, honestly, just an outlet from corporate America, right? Um, to do in my free time. And then as time went on, and as I continued to have these conversations, I just found myself super, super interested, interested in people's variety of their approach to relationships, approach to family and friends and, and um, marriage even. It was just like, oh my God, there's so many different ways to do this. <laughs> you know, there, there isn't just one way because we're different, we're unique. Um, and so in that, I just kept, kind of kept that up over the years until so many people will tell me that you need to be figuring out how to do this professionally. And I had no idea what was meant by that. Um, I didn't know how to do it professionally or what they really saw in me about that um, until, um, until one day in particular, I hosted a panel uh, discussion and there were a couple, you know, um, counselors and, and um, there was one um, therapist actually, um, and he was a family therapist. And in it, I had the whole structure, I had that agenda. I was like, all right, you say this, you talk on this. <laughs> I was just very directive about everything. <laughs> and then he pulled me to the side afterwards. He was like, I've been a family therapist for about 30 years. And I've done many of these presentations, but uh, you need to figure out how to be a coach. And I was like, be a what? <laughs> what is that? And why do you think I need to be that? And he was like, Next time I talk to you, you better be certified. And I was like, okay, um, I guess I got to take this seriously. So I literally asked God for a lot of guidance. I didn't know what to do for I had just no idea. A single mom, corporate America, you know, from Maryland to DC, commuting an hour and a half each way. It's just, you do what you got to do uh, to make ends meet. And then I'm supposed to just change careers? Like what? You know? And at the time, my daughter was in, I think, junior high school. So it was a lot of risks involved. So um, making a long story short, I literally just needed God to step in and give me um, some guidance as to what I'm supposed to do. Is either go back to school to advance my career, is either just focus on my uh, career and go to the next level just organically, or start to invest in this area of my life and build up a company. Do you know less than a week, less than one week after that prayer and that intentionality, it was like, God, you can have me wherever you take me. God, I mean, it had to be him because what I needed was a job closer to home. How can I do a business? If I have to commute this, I'm getting home at 9 p.m., you know, um, how can I do this? Less than a week later, a recruiter reached out to me. Hey, you want a job? <laughs> you know, it was just that simple. And it was a better paying job. It was more responsibility, but it was something right in the wheelhouse that would have prepared me for entrepreneurship. So it was just an amazing next step in my career. It was closer to home. It was 10 minutes from my house. And 
It was everything that I needed to believe in myself, to lead a team, to 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 speak more, to become more articulate, to um, make hard decisions, a lot of pressure in that position. And so did that for a couple of years as I built up my business. And it's just been amazing. I mean, immediately after getting that offer, um, I immediately signed up to get certified as a coach in, in the rest is history. Wow, that is amazing. And it's it's amazing how it was spoken into your life. And yeah. that's one of the things that we oftentimes overlook when someone sees something in us because other people can see our gift better than we can see our gift. And so, so that had to also be God to give him the courage to say that to you because oh yeah, you don't know how someone's going to receive your perception of them. Mm -hmm. So for him to speak that, and that that's also a lesson just for everybody who watches this to when you see something in somebody, don't just see it and witness it or experience it, but to express it. And to say yes. it, because it's so many people that I say something to like that, and then they'll mm -hmm. step into that, and it's a whole nother lane, a whole nother career for them. And so, yeah, that's what happened for you. So, what does it look like for you being a coach, which mm -hmm. is is really like a support system yes. and like an accountability partner? Mm -hmm. I know coaching is not like you know guru to student. Some coaches are, you know, and, and label themselves as such. But mm -hmm. with what you're doing, it sounds more so like a sisterhood, like a, so an accountability partner, you know. So what it does is. it look like? Do you, yeah? how do you do it? Group coach? How do I do the uh, uh -huh. Yeah. So over the years, um, it's been my lower ladies, I call my clients a lower ladies. <laughs> So it's been my allure ladies that have essentially helped me shape the offering. When I first started, I actually believed that I'll just be a dating coach because, you know, it's just fun, right? But as I started really doing the work, it's like, no, that's not where the need is. I, I felt, I felt it was for me. It's more, I didn't realize how many women were just afraid of the just the 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 thing to even get them started. So understanding that more and more and getting that feedback from my clients, I started adding on additional services. It began with just one-on-one, -on -one, which, which everyone can still get access to, right? Um, I have uh, two coaches that coach with me. One is a, a certified, um, I'm sorry, a licensed um, mental health professional. And the other one has been coaching for way longer than me, <laughs> very seasoned coach. And so in that, they can get the one-on-one, -on -one, but what we also have is a program. So we have um, a go-at-your-own-pace program they can get access to with the one-on-one -on -one support. You can have group support. We meet uh, weekly for our Q&As. Anybody can pop in there, ask questions about their growth and their development. Also, we have coaching, um, group coaching available as well. Um, some women sign up because they want that sisterhood experience. Uh, the women are a little bit different. They're just like, look, I just want my results. Oh, you know, God bless other ladies, but that's not why, <laughs> you know? Um, so we try to tailor it so that it's something for everybody. We also have trips. Last year we did Jamaica. This year we're doing Greece. So that's super exciting. Yeah. And then also every year we have a domestic retreat as well. Um, so we used to do it in um, Delaware. Um uh, Bethany Beach in Delaware, but now because we're in beautiful Jacksonville, we're we're holding them here. Um, so so yeah, the different experiences a woman could have with prepared to be pursued. You just kind of like to meet a woman where where she's at. Mm. I love the name "Prepare to Be Pursued." Now, did you come up with that, or did one of your mentors or teammates speak it? I'm telling you, it was just God. I'm telling you. Let me tell you. It wasn't actually, it didn't start off as the name of my company. It started off with, because I went on a own, my own personal growth where God just shook me in my life. 
right? Um, I had one of those moments in my life. It was around 2013, 2014, where I feel like it was hit upside the head. <laughs> it's just like, you need a shift. And so on that, I started blogging. It only lasted for like three months, but uh, it was a way for me to just put it on paper that I am tired of feeling like I need to just make stuff happen all the time. I feel like I got to force things. I feel like I got to chase stuff. I'm like, that don't feel like the the journey of a believer. I don't know. It just, don't fit, it just, it, it just didn't fit for me anymore. And I felt like I was being called to a different type of experience in life where as long as you're in, in alignment with God's purpose for you, what he wants for you, that he is going to provide. Like he's going to give you the provision. He's going to hook you up with the person that needs to mentor you during that season. You, you know, it's just going to work and it's going to be more of a flow. And that was the, the name of my very first blog entry was I want to be prepared to be pursued by opportunities. That's literally what I wrote about. It wasn't about anything about dating or, or men even. It was just, I want I want what I want to want me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and be seeking me out. And then I just walk into it. As long as I'm prepared for it, I'm not full of fear. I'm not, nothing else is coming in the way. Um, and that that was my intention there. And again, that was literally shortly before my life changed, my direction changed. I got that job offer and things just, I just started having to scale things away that was no longer, you know, kind of serving the direction that God was um, put me in. So yeah, it was, it's, that's how it came about. And then when it was time to name my company, that, that was just a perfect fit. Mm, I see. Yeah. Now, yeah. As we know, as being coaches, our yes. clients have like a a journey. Mm -hmm. What is the ideal client for you? Like, where is she in her life? Is is she trauma ridden and needing help? Mm -hmm. Is she broken? Is she healed? Like, what's mm -hmm. the ideal client for your company, your services? I love that question. I so appreciate you asking that. So I, what I find as far as women that get their results the fastest with me are women that have started some sort of path already. They've already had that knock you upside the head moment in their life. Something has shifted where they're feeling like enough is enough. You know, like they've already reached that point. Something has happened, whether it's recovery from a relationship, whether it is um, finding yourself as an empty nester, your kids are grown and gone, and you're just like, wait a minute, who am I? <laughs> you know, whether it's a shift in um, location, you've done a, a, a big move across the country or even another part of the world, or you finally reach that goal professionally, and you're looking like, wait, okay, great, but now I got to look at my, you know, this area, you know. Or educationally, a lot of the women that I work with, they've reached a goal, you know, PhD. And they're just like, oh, my God, I finished my dissertation. Okay, I'm done. I graduate. Oh, now I can relax and have some fun, you know, figure this part of my life out. So it's, it's really women that find themselves where they're ready for a shift. So it's like women 35, you know, 55, 65. My oldest client to get married is 66. Um, and wow. when she's, yeah, when she signed up, she was like, Nikki, uh, she did not believe. She was just happy to get a nice date and that's it, you know? Um, but for the foundation of her approach and everything, the same thing everybody experiences. It just needs to shift. So it's right in line with what's going to get you the results that you want. So yeah, but we have older clients, I mean, younger clients too. There's a couple of clients that are, that are in the 20s. So um, it's a wide range, but most of the women are in the 40s and 50s. Right. And, you know, one of the things that I love about what you're doing and I kind of make an exception to the rule mm. for women coaches like yourself, because you're a woman. So, mm. like, I don't really like single male coaches because mm. they can pursue that woman. They can yes. stay on that woman's insecurity. But you know, you being a woman, you 
understand what a woman goes through. You know, you mm -hmm. understand what it's like to be a daughter, to be a girlfriend, to be a sister or what yes. have you, you know, a colleague as a woman, you understand mm -hmm. what her body goes through. Mm -hmm. those changes, mm -hmm. Whereas yes. we don't understand those things as men. And so that's a, a thing that is needed because mm -hmm. you're able to really walk with her. So if if she's going through something, you can relate to that. And mm -hmm. it's amazing that you say a client who got married at 66 and then also the young ladies who are in their 20s. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I hear that a lot with young ladies in their 20s feeling like, oh, I'm over the hill, you know, I'm mm. it's too late. And they getting a lot of stress and anxiety. Whereas then you see this story of a woman in her sixties or even in her seventies getting married mm -hmm. and, and may still have another 20 years with that man, 30 years with that man, which oh, is yeah. enough time for a man mm -hmm. to get nerves, you know, <laughs> so, you know it, it's something to think about. Now, do you offer, like just one off one on one sessions, like if someone just want to have an hour conversation or mm -hmm. do you really prefer like a four session, eight, 12 session package? Yeah, we have options for sure. So the initial session and someone can um can essentially do do a quiz that will be available in the, um, in the description. That that um, explore your allure quiz helps us understand kind of where you are in your life, kind of what's going on, and everything like that. And then after that, the woman will have an opportunity to purchase um, one session. But one thing that's great is if upon review, very often we do a drawing, so a woman can win that for free. Okay, so she won't have to pay a thing, and she'll either be able to speak with me or someone on my team, another coach, certified coach. We'll be able to go through a questionnaire experience with her. And by the end of that, whether she moves forward or not, she's going to leave with some clarity about where she is and what's in the way of her being able to get any um, tangible results in this area for life. So, yeah. See, so that's one option. Yeah. That's amazing. And now you say y'all have a retreat yeah. that you, are you thinking about doing it? Are you going to do it for yeah. Greece? It's, 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 it's going down. Okay. <laughs> all right. So half of it is already sold out. All right. So there's a portion of it. it that sold out in two weeks. Okay. So there's a portion of it where it's going to be, I think now we're at seven of us and it's going to be an eight day experience. Okay. So that portion is sold out. That was mo mostly for women that have been with me for a year or more. Um, and that just I'll share because this is something that will be available in the future as well, because we're definitely doing um, Jamaica next year. And so half of that experience is at a villa. And then the second half is going to be on a cruise and we're going to bop around. So Santorini and all the other fabulous places starting at, in Athens. And so that second half, because the, the eight day sold out so fast, we were just like, OK, maybe there are other women who want to go. And so that second half, we were able to make available to the masses. And so there's still a few slots available. Um, so there's an interest form that someone can, can fill out if they want more information for sure. But yeah, it's a four-day cruise. You get to Athens. That's all you have to do is find your way to Athens. Um, and that cruise is all-inclusive. It's going to be just amazing. That's amazing. And so I love that too, because sometimes... Uh, a woman may not be ready to date. She may not even be ready to be, to prepare to be pursued, but she may want to, she may want a community of women, of like-minded women who are growing and healing and just doesn't want a vacation alone. Yes. And so having that retreat leg of the business, it allows someone to kind of come in explore kind of get immersed in you know your company your business feel your spirit and then decide if they want to you know do more and start working on themselves so that's amazing that yeah. you have that so Thank i you. really i love what you're doing because it's necessary now is you preparing them to be pursued mm -hmm. 
is there a book and matchmaking in the works or oh. is that gonna oh my god <laughs> you're holding me accountable so okay yes definitely to both um the book is in the works i need to finish it and thanks for calling me out <laughs> it's, it's it's definitely something that that needs to be done um and it's um another thing i'll mention is we do periodic um challenges five day challenges called make room for boaz and um that might sound familiar to, to some women that are kind of in my uh network right so the book, it will be essentially a version of that five-day challenge that women can do on their own. Mm. All right. So it's well-developed and you have to do it, but it's coming. So thanks for that. The second um, matchmaking, I just became certified earlier this year. So we're, we're on schedule to launch it officially. There, there are a couple of clients that are going through a beta process now, but um, in August of 2024, should be ready to go. Mm, that's amazing yeah. that is amazing mm -hmm. and I, I do like a little bit of matchmaking in my business and I don't necessarily enjoy it it's just <laughs> a different it's a different type of headache so yeah. <laughs> you know I'm glad I'm glad you throwing your hat in the ring and getting out there and so yeah. that's amazing I, I believe that there will be a lot of ladies who see this interview who want to give this a try and so if you're watching this at any time, make sure you check the description box and you'll have all your information there to be able to reach out to Miss Nikki and connect with her and start your journey. And Nikki, yeah. thank you so much for being a part thank of this you. and for you know sharing this with us because it's a it's a unique thing that the world needs because mm -hmm. A lot of times people just jump on this bumble and all yeah. this stuff and mm. get caught up. Whereas caught up. here they can have a sisterhood, get mm -hmm. some support, get some feedback. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. another thing that I love about what you're doing is you still feed in your mind, feed in your spirit. You know, you you coming in. You watching my videos, so you getting to hear mm -hmm. that perspective as well. And then you're not afraid to bring in other people like your partners you work with who can kind of be pieces to the puzzle. So mm -hmm. when a woman comes to your company, she has like a, a Swiss army knife. She got a little bit of everything versus just having to rely on one person, you know, mm -hmm. like the rest of our businesses. So that's a unique, you know, approach that you're taking. And so thank, thank you for that. Congratulations on it. And I'm Thank sure you'll have a lot of people reaching out to you. Hopefully it's not overwhelming. And so <laughs> if, <we're> ready. <laughs> if, if it is, you know, make sure you y'all got a good waiting list in order. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I really honor this opportunity. I'm very excited for this. Uh, I appreciate it lots. So looking forward to connecting to all the ladies that are interested. We're, we're ready to welcome you aboard. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. And if you are watching this, make sure you set your notification bell and tune in for our other interviews. Keep your little notepad, take your notes, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.